Hi and welcome to the channel. As some of you might know, I try to every Friday or every Saturday uploading a video from the past week in the repair shop where I work. Or if I have some works at home, I'll add them to that video. But as I have been on a five weeks vacation, I have been lacking some, uh, some content for you to watch. So therefore I have been found some old footage and I hope you uh, enjoyed it despite that. This is the last week I'm on vacation, so next week I will unfortunately start at my work. Okay, it was a joke, <laughs> but you know, vacation is, is more fun, but I, I really like my job. But I will be back next week and therefore I assume there will be some more machining content. This week I have made a little bit of machining at home. It was not nothing special, but it was something that I have been wanting uh, to do for yeah ever since I got the Bridgeport mill. And I have done the same to the Bridgeport at my work, and I have got a lot of feedback on that. Uh, and the the thing I did was milling the slot in the table to match 16 millimeters metric. It is five eighth um, inch now, so it is, um, I, I can't remember exactly, but 15.93 or four, I think. So I just skimmed it in both sides, taking three or four uh, hundredths of a millimeter, and then it will match the keys I have under my uh, vices, dividing heads, index heads, uh, dividing table, and my tilt table. So all my accessories are 16 millimeters, so it will match directly into the slot or uh, teen slot in the table. And I use it uh, all the time. Mount some keys in the bottom and just mount it on the table, tighten it to the table and then just go work. You don't need to uh, sweep a dial indicator or anything across it. It's, it's just for what I do perfectly straight away. So that's why I did it. Of course, I couldn't machine it, machine it all the way, but I would say it's 85% uh, of the table that has been um, machined to the, the 16 millimeters. <clears throat> and therefore, for most of my work, it is more than sufficient. If I need to mount a vise here and another one here, I can, of course, uh, trim it on the old school style with a dial indicator. So the problem isn't really there. And I know some people will say it's destroying or ruining the mill, but seriously, it's a machine made for working. And then you might ask, what, what is it doing here? But um, of course it's a machine made for milling and making parts. And the main reason to have it is, of course, to make the parts and make them easy and efficient and sufficient for my work. And therefore, I need to make it even more user-friendly for, for my work. As you may know, this is uh, I live in Denmark, and we are all about the metric system. So everything is metric, so I have to, to match the, the tools for this application. I hope it, it makes sense. Normally, I, it, it really hurt me to um, yeah, not destroy it, but uh, changing something on a machine, because if it's a well-built machine, you know, yeah, it, it, it hurts a machine to, to, um, to make some adjustments like this. But again, I think it's, uh, it's an upgrade from, from my use. It will never be running in the, in the UK or in the US where it, it will have a matching size of um, inch keys. So um, yeah. It will stay, probably stay here for a very long time, and I think the, the guy afterwards me will uh, appreciate it. So, that was about that. Then I also have got some new vices. It's the, um, some of you will call it the Sagop, or um, I can't remember the Italian name right at the moment. Um, Gerardi vices. But a lot of uh, manufacturers make them. Uh, these ones also make them in a great quality, but they are quite expensive quality costs. But I found these in Asia and they are, for the money, great value. 
they are 100 in the width and they can open up 300 millimeter so they are quite capable for what i'm going to use them for so that's also something new i also got some new hand tools i will talk about in the next or another video the part with the the door is complete i made the outside as well just need to make some wiring and it uh an old fume extractor hole then i'm gonna sort out some sort of um, storage i really like some storage in this small room my cheap uh, fume extractor arm from aliexpress for 40 dollars or something and the fume extractor motor for the similar price i'm also done um, mounting not really done mounting but for now it's okay and when I say that, I know for myself that this is gonna stay there forever. <laughs> but um, someday I will make a, a better clamping system for the for the hose here. But the plan is I can I have a chip welding machine here on the Gatronic. Very nice little welder. But well, when I'm welding, I'm mostly welding stainless steel, and that's not very good for the health. So I really need some extraction and then I came across this because all the other ones I have they take up a lot of room in the height so they need to be mounted very low and then they go up and can reach down but this is just like the log line or jetong you know from the lathe and milling machines for coolant you can they are very flexible so it can be mounted whenever uh, wherever I want it and for the price it was ridiculous so i couldn't uh, i just need to, to try it out and it's surprisingly very well made for for the price so that's done and it has a lot of um, suction it, it removes a lot of air so it's perfect for, for welding also i got some new um, lubrication for when drilling and tapping something called an anchor loop anchor loop it's a product made in the US, USA and it's a paste so you can um, it's quite thick you can use a little brush or you can put it put it out of the tube on the part you're drilling or tapping or anything like that <clears throat> and I'm very excited to uh, to start using it I have made some test samples uh, drilling some small holes what I didn't like about, about my, my old the type of a cutting compound or paste was it was extremely smoky and the fumes they did smell awful and i could see from the bare metal you can actually see it here on the vice the smoke it will get around and all the bare surfaces in the nearing they will begin to rust within 24 hours you can see it on the drill truck and you can see it on the vice see here some of the the other drill trucks as well and if the metal looks like this i know the inside of me doesn't look very nice as, as well so this is um, a product that should be um, way way healthier for you to to use and get in contact with so i'm very excited about it as mentioned i have tried a little, only a very little but so far i'm impressed it seems to make some easier drilling the tool pressure is lower and the fumes are very very little and they smell way better <laughs> so that's a very big plus for me but that was what i have to say or will say today and then i will maybe add some more footage in the end of this video just so you got a little bit of of machining clips this week so um, thank you again for watching i hope you will like and subscribe and thank you all for the comments and likes have a nice day